let us have here the fourth example that I have. So the given is 2x raised to 5 minus y quantity cubed. So kun natin ulit yung value ng n. So the value of n here is the exponent, right? 3. The value of a is the first term of our binomial, 2x raised to 5. And then the value of b is negative y. So now, let's create our Pascal's triangle for us to be able to know the, the coefficients that we will be using for our expansion. So we all know that the top is 1. And we put another 1 on both sides. Then we add 1 plus 1. We have 2. Then we put another 1 here. Okay, this is our zeroth row. This is our row 1. Then row 2. Hanggang sa marich natin to, yung row 3. Kasi n equals 3 tayo. So we add again. This is 3. Then this is another 3. Then we put 1 on the other side. It's row 2 and row 3. Okay? So next, after you you get the coefficient, you will do now your expansion. So we just have to copy the coefficients that we will be using. So coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay, so we, we start with 1. Then after putting 1, you put your first term, which is 2x raised to 5. You enclose by parentheses. And then the exponent of your first term here would be 3. Kaya nung ginagawa sa example natin. Then wala pa siyang second term. Lihat nilalagay yung negative y. Nilalagay natin ito sa kasunod na term. Okay, we put um, plus here. Then, we proceed to the second coefficient. So, the second coefficient is 3. Then, we put again the, the first term of our binomial, which is 2x raised to 5. And then, we put another exponent. But this time, the exponent will, will, de will decrease by 1. So, kung ito, kung ito ay 3, magiging 2. Okay? Then, we put the second term now. Negative y. Okay? Raise 2. Ito naman mag sa 1. Okay, ibaba lang natin. Okay, ibaba lang natin siya dito. Para kumahan siya. So, continue tayo. So, meron na tayong second term na expansion natin. Then, another plus. Proceed tayo sa third coefficient. We have now 3. Then we put our first term again. Yung 2x raised to 5. Then this time the exponent would be just 1. Kasi from 2 siya magiging 1. Okay? Kasi ito yung pinagbabasihan natin. Yung mga 2x raised to 5. Okay? Next. Plus. I know. Copy the second term again. Negative y. The exponent would be 2. Okay? Tignan nyo ha. Dapat total yan ay 3. Ito. Ang exponent lang dito ay 3. Neto may 2 tsaka 1. Neto may 1 tsaka 2. Laging 3 ang total. Kasi n is equal to 3 tayo. Okay. Next. Plus ulit. The last coefficient is 1. So you put 1 again. Then the first term of, of your binomial. 2x raised to 5. And then. Close parenthesis. Ang exponent neto ay wait. Hindi na pala natin lalagay ito. Kasi ito na yung huli niya ba 1. So, ito 0 na lang. So, wala na siyang first term. Ang meron na lang siya yung last term. Negative y. Raise to um, 3 na. Okay? Tandaan nyo dito sa first term natin. Dito, walang, walang negative y. Wala yung b. Dito naman sa last term, wala yung a. Okay? Tapos, ito yung exponent 3. Yung 2x raised to 5, pababa na pababa yung exponent. 3, 2, 1. Tapos, ito naman yung b natin, yung negative y. Pataas ng pataas. 1, 2, 3. Okay? Then you proceed to your calculation. Okay? Ngayon, kapag nag-calculate kayo, dapat ang uh, uunahin yung mga numbers. Okay? So, open natin yung calculator. 
Dito, sa first term, ang uunahin nyo dito yung 1, then itong 2, raised to 3. So, pag nilagay sa calculator yan, ganito ang itsura. So, you proceed with 1. So, you put 1 here. Then, parenthesis. May number sa loob ng parenthesis, tama? Yung 2. So, lagay nyo yung 2. Then, close parenthesis. Then, itong 3. Huwag nyo pansinin yung raised to 5. Kasi yung raised to 5, na kay x lang yan. Okay? Itong raised to 3, since nasa labas siya ng parenthesis, dyan ay exponent para kay 2, tsaka kay x raised to 5. Pero since number na ilalagay natin dito, so you put 1, 2, then raised to 3. So you put here raised to 3. Then equal sign nyo na. The answer is 8. So you put here 8. Then you copy the literal coefficient, the letters. So x raised to, since may 5 dito, tapos meron siyang 3 dito, ang gagawin nyo lang naman dito ay, um, you just have to uh, multiply the exponent. 5 times 3. Okay? You, you just have to multiply the exponent. So now, 5 times 3, we have 15. So you put here 15 instead of putting just 5. Kasi, magagaling yan sa 5 times 3. Next, proceed tayo dito. So we put the values. So meron tayo una, 3. Copy 3. Then, parenthesis, 2. Close parenthesis. Huwag niyong pansinin yung x raised to 5. Ah, mamaya pa yan. Then raised to 2. Meron tayo raised to 2. And then, parenthesis, negative 1. Since may negative yung y, so meron siyang imaginary negative 1. Close parenthesis, then raised to 1. Then equal sign, we have negative 12. So you put here, minus. Okay, minus 12. Kasi negative 12 yun. Then you, you copy x raised to, raised to 5. Pero may, may 2 dito. Kaya times 2. Magiging 10. Okay? So magiging x raised to 10. Then, itong y copy natin. Ito may negative. Itong y lang ha. Itong y na to. Copyin mo. Then exponent niya 1 lang. So y raised to 1. Or y na lang. Okay? Next dito tayo. So, press press it 3 then parenthesis 2 then close raise to 1 lang then baba tayo parenthesis negative 1 parenthesis raise to 2 okay then equal sign that is positive 6 so look in your positive 6 plus 6. And then, copy yung x raised to 5 times 1. That is just 5. Okay? Times yan na laging times. So, magiging um, x raised to 5. And then, ito magiging y raised to 2. Okay? Huwag nyo na ilalagay yung negative na yan dito, ha? Mali na yun. Y lang. Kinakapi lang yung mga letters. Tapos, tinatimes natin yung mga exponents. So, ito 5 times 1. Ito wala namang exponents sa loob. Ito, 2 lang. So, lagyan natin yung y squared. Then, ito naman. Madali na lang yan. So, you just have to put 1. And a 1. Parenthesis, negative 1. Then, raise to 3. Then, equal sign. That is negative 1. So, you put here negative 1 again. Minus 1. Okay? Then, y. Copy yung y. Raise to 3. Take note kung ang coefficient ay just 1 lang. Okay, pwede nyo, pwede nyo tanggalin yan. So, pwede mo lang lagay na negative y na lang. Negative y cube. So, yan yung magiging final expansion natin. So, this is your final answer. Okay?